Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. This could be a little short, sweet video. I've done videos like this before, but this person sent me this file, so I thought I'd show him on an exact file. He wants this. I want how this, the same line. So the, he's got two circles here, and one of them is 2,000 millimeters, which I don't understand what it is in size-wise, and it's also CMYK. Maybe he's not an engraver. But what the problem is, let's, and these are curves and not ovals, control D and make a duplicate. Let's put them out of here, out of the way for the, get it off the page. And I purposely set this for a 10 millimeter circle so I could do this. This one we're gonna take and double click on the pen tool down here and you see it's 20 millimeter in length. So I guess that's a 20 point. Right here, scale with object. That's the key, put okay. Now let's take this one and turn it in. I think I made this 10 millimeters, yep. Let's take this, lock this ratio and turn this in to 10 millimeters. So it made the line equally as thick to the size of the object. I hope that made sense. Let's back up here. Let's do not do this one. And let's turn it in. Let's do not have scaled object checked. And let's turn it into 10 millimeter. See the difference? You're, this is a big deal if you're creating lines in a drawing and you draw Let's just use it for instance. Let's let's say you draw something and you've got um, lines drawn in it, drawn in it, drawn in it, and let's make them a couple of freehand lines. Well, freehand, and let's uh, just kind of fill this page up with some lines. Now let's take all the interior lines and make them that 20 points. 10 point. Well, let's make them let's make them 20 and make them a little thicker. Now you've done all this drawing and then you go, you know what? I only want this drawing this big. Well, now look at the lines. You've totally lost all your work. It's because the lines stayed the same thickness but you did not when you scrunched it. So what you need to do, select all those lines, double click, and click scale with object. Then you can take that and scale it down to whatever size you want, and the lines are equal to, equal to what they are in size-wise. You know what, I've always said that. Let me just double check that. Let's make this line something even number, we'll make it one millimeter thick, okay? We're not gonna scale it with object, but let's make it, well, I've already messed this up. Let's make it a, how can I do that? Tell you what, let's do this. Let's just take another line. Let's just take another line and make it two millimeters. And then control D and make another duplicate and there your duplicates at five centimeters. And let's take this line and scale with object. Now let's take this line and reduce it by 50%. Let's reduce this one by 50%. Now, this is a two-point line. This is a one-point line. So it's reducing it equally. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. And thank you for watching.